Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Twilight. Earlier today, we had a G1 geomagnetic storm watch. It sideswiped Earth's magnetic field. The storm cloud was hurled into space by an erupting magnetic filament in the sun's northern hemisphere on February 11th. A G1 storm equals 5 on the KP index, which means auroras can be seen this far down from the north. Here is a sample of the pressure on the magnetosphere from the 14th, showing weak pressure. And up next is the pressure from earlier today showing much higher pressure on Earth's magnetosphere. This model showing the geoelectric field, which measure the induction hazard to artificial conductors, such as electrical power lines, that results from geomagnetic activity, and can be used to estimate the amount of current induced by integrating along the conducting pathway. On this LASCOC2 filter, the eruption from the 14th is observed. Notice how the eruption glitches the satellite filter. Up next, the same eruption shown on the C3 filter, as it expands through space. The strength of the CME causes a glitch here also. This CME model shows the direction of the CME from the 14th, and it looks like Earth receives a dose of solar wind and radiation on the 17th. For the lunar observers, the moon is in the waning crescent phase. Illumination, 30%. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. Nine.